Hi and welcome to part 20 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part we are going to learn how to use partial views to display the list of drinks. So a partial view is just a view which is rendered inside another view. We use them to simplify the code. So let us create our first partial view and for that we go to the views folder. Inside the views folder on the shared folder we add a new item and from the items we select a view. We are going to name our first view drink summary and we add the item. We start by specifying the type that we are going to use. In order to simplify this long URL we have already learned that we could go to the view imports file and in here we add another using. So this means that now we have access to every file which is inside the models folder. So we go back to drink summary and we could remove the first part. Now go to list.c-sharp html and get all the code which is inside the for each loop and paste it here. Replace the drinks with model since now drink is our model. So now we have created our partial view but we need to call it. For that we need to go back to the list view and inside this list we write html.partial and the first parameter is always going to be the name of the partial view that we want to call which in this case is drinks summary and the second parameter is going to be the model that needs to be passed to this partial view which in this case is our drink the partial view is a little bit confused because of this var in the for each so replace that with a drink and now the error is gone and run the application to see if everything works fine so now we have the same view like before but we show the data now by using a partial view thank you for watching and see you on the next part